from the NBC 10 Money Watchers, Rhode Island Roads, the U.S. Secretary of Transportation at the State House today to talk about funding for the state's highways. Money Watchers Bill Rapley was at, there with them. He's live in the newsroom now to hear more about what he had to say. Bill? Well, Dan, he was here to sound the alarm. Highway and bridge projects around the state could just come to a complete halt if Congress doesn't act. Big highway jobs like the reconstruction of Route 95 by the Providence Place Mall, a $150 million project, are mostly paid with federal money. 80% of the bills are sent to the U.S. Department of Transportation, but the Highway Trust Fund is set to run out of money. That threatens construction jobs like this. Unless Congress acts in July, starting August 1, the Federal Highway Administration will say, Rhode Island, when you submit your bill, we can only pay you a percentage of that bill. All four of Rhode Island's congressmen and the governor held an event at the State House to publicize the need for a new highway trust fund. The head of the U.S. Department of Transportation is making a national campaign to keep pushing progress on roads, rails, and mass transit. Every generation of Americans, every single one, has left a better country behind them. And we are at risk of pulling up the drawbridge. And I will not let that happen quietly. I will work every day until Congress passes a long-term bill to move this country forward. It would also shorten the unemployment lines. One of the smartest and one of the most direct things we can do is fund highway construction, rail construction, transit construction. It puts people to work. Now, one reason the fund is depleted is gas tax revenues are declining. So Congress has to come up with new funding and has to do it by the end of the month if there's going to be no interruption of these construction jobs. I'm Bill Rapley, NBC 10 News in the newsroom.